There are so many iconic places to visit in Star Citizen, it's actually quite challenging to whittle that down to a small selection to highlight in a video. But to show you some of those interesting or beautiful locations, this video attempts to do just that, distilling some top choices of places that you can actually go out and visit in the game. For each of these locations, you can find a more detailed video with information on how to get there, which will be linked in the video description. If you're new to the channel, I'm Farrister, and you can regularly find this kind of video here. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you might consider pressing that subscribe button so that YouTube knows to show you more. And with that, the first location on the list is the UEES Flissa, the crashed Javelin class destroyer on Daymar. For anybody who followed Star Citizen, you might be aware that the Javelin is an absolutely gargantuan ship, and you can certainly get that sense of scale when you see the debris strewn about over the dunes of Daymar. Especially if you catch a sunrise or sunset, you're in for a treat at this place. Secondly, we head across to Microtech for the first of what is expected to be many rivers as future patches come online. But for a picturesque natural scene, the Microtech River starts to capture the imagination for the scale of Star Citizen. The difference between seeing the river from the sky to actually travelling down to it, being able to walk by the side of it, is truly breathtaking. The third place that's worth a visit seems rather obvious, but it's the huge city in the clouds at Orizon. Whilst it's sometimes more challenging to get to with a long ride in or out, and often not the highest frame rate place to visit, few would dispute that it's a fantastic looking place. With wispy gas clouds setting the mood music, day or night, sunrise or sunset, Orizon always looks wonderful. For the fourth location on the tour for this video, we head across to Lyria to visit Loveridge Mineral Reserve. This mining settlement is placed right in the middle of a crater, which makes for the sort of unique sci-fi environment that feels great to get out and explore. It's also a somewhat popular location for some cargo traders. And finally, we visit the Ghost Hollow Wreck on Microtech. This derelict reclaimer is strewn out across the Alpine forests, and whilst there are many wrecked ships to find in Star Citizen, the size and scale of the Ghost Hollow, coupled with the setting against the natural environment, makes for a very interesting place to stop by and visit. Hopefully you'll agree, there are many such interesting places to visit in Star Citizen. You might have a different view on what makes your 5 choices, but you can share that in the comments of this video. This is but a selection, and if you're looking for more places, you might be interested in the whole series of Location Spotlight videos on this channel, each of which takes a detailed look at a different place that you can visit in every video. If you enjoyed this video, you might press that like button to help guide me as to what you're enjoying the most. Oh, and I've tried some new effects and a new outro for this video. If you got this far, you might let me know if you like that or not in the video comments. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.